Anza was a Mexican born in the Sierra Madre on a cattle ranch. He was a soldier charged by New Spain with founding a colony in the San Francisco Bay Area. The Juan Bautista de Anza National Historic Trail, where it goes through the Los Angeles Basin, recognizes the route that Anza took. It wasn't a military expedition. It wasn't a scouting expedition. It was a colonizing expedition. What comes to mind when uh, we hear the name Juan Bautista de Anza? To be honest with you, and no disrespect, there's no really significance behind it, but just another settler who came to settle here. It was the beginning to what, unfortunately, our people would say, the end of our lifestyle and culture. If you're in California and you go to the fourth grade, you study about the Anza expedition and it probably goes in one ear and out the other. But nonetheless, you've got some sort of a background. I'm sure that the first trip north, Anza would have come up through Glendale Narrows. But after two weeks of rainfall, it seems that it would have been totally imprudent for him to take the same path up through this vast thicket out here. It's my personal understanding that they would have come down essentially to the council tree for the Indian village that was there on the banks of the river. And then they would have taken probably essentially Sunset Boulevard out and towards the Coenga Pass and go over Coenga Pass. They were obvious routes that the Indians would have taken. A lot of folks, when they uh, hear the name of a trail called after a certain individual, they think that individual created that trail. That simply is not the truth. We're here today to talk about the Anza Trail, but really it's the trail of the indigenous peoples from Southern California who had extensive trade routes and who used them as part of our kinship practices and maintaining our networks and our diversity throughout the area. Prior to Anza, tribal people already had migrated and traveled far. And there's all a history as far as folks from down south, as, as far as Mexico City will come up here and trade with feathers. I mean, even going eastward from us here, uh, trading with Hopi people. Today we're standing in Griffith Park. This is the Crystal Springs picnic area. When they crossed through here, it would have looked somewhat like this. Pretend there's no freeway. Pretend that the river is not encased in concrete. I think in terms of villages, they would have seen people. And a lot of the talk about environmental work and conservationism often erases indigenous peoples and doesn't include us in those stories and those narratives as the people who cared for the land. The Anza Trail is an especially good place to visit Griffith Park. It's one of the few trails in the park that's flat. Right over here is the LA River Greenway, has a bike path on one side and a pedestrian path on the other side. I would like people to understand when they come to these recreational areas where it posted the Anza Trail, to recognize that if it wasn't for the local natives of these area locations, there wouldn't be no Anza Trail. They wouldn't be able to survive. I think it would have been very difficult for Anza to have been successful if he had not had the assistance of the indigenous tribes. I think what people need to consider when they're visiting these trails, uh, one is obviously think about the environment and, and how to care for it, and, but also think about the first peoples that were here, how we were maintained these lands and how we're still here connected. Or even next the question, you know, what the tribes are around here and are they still here? They were trails that were used by the indigenous people. When you go over there, it doesn't say nothing about that. All it just says is they were led by Indians and blah, blah, that's it. And Anza, this is his trail. What was it called before? To have folks understand that they're standing on ground that humans for thousands of years have traversed and walked upon and done activities on and that they are sharing in that experience of this landscape. 